This week proved to be confusing for many people trying to sort out what's real and what was just an April Fool's joke. Well, in politics, separating the fools from the facts can be an even more difficult task, but fortunately we have political analyst John Dadian with us this morning. So, John, no pressure trying to separate fools from facts when it comes to politics. It was tough. It was, th it was tough. I mean, the, 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 the hallmark of a good April Fool's joke is half the people believe it and half knew it was a joke, and that's what we saw happening quite a bit this week. So, several things that caught people's attention. Carl DeMaio is going to have his own radio show? Is that an April Fool's joke? Well, again, they made the actual form of release on April Fool's Day, Oops. and Twitter just let, lit up as far as people, a lot of his supporters saying this is great, and everybody saying, oh, typical Carl, this is a joke. It's but, true. But it's true. He it's will have his own true. show on Kogo. It already started, and he's doing it uh, uh, because Kogo, I think they're very smart. They have their anchors that do their different segments individually. So this is the first one that they're doing it with two people together. He's doing it with Sully Sullivan. So I think it's going to be a great success. Probably a way for him to keep his name out there, too, I imagine. Funny how that works. Funny how that works, right? Uh, also, Dennis Hollingsworth. Running for U.S. Senate? You think it's going to happen? Again, former state senator, so he's credible, and he has a lot of supporters. He was very conservative in the legislature, so a lot of people would like to see him uh, run. But what you saw, the response is, he's the one, actually, who posted it on Facebook, and it was so serious, the way he said, I, I talked with my family, I need to do this for our state, etc. So half the responses were, Dennis, I'm so glad you're doing this, we need you. And the other half was, oh, come on, this has to be April Fool's, because, again, it's tough to run as Republican statewide. But is it an April Fool's joke? It's April Fool's. Dennis is not running. So he's for, not running for He's not running, but he was a great elected official when he was in. We got fooled on that one, John. We got fooled. Uh, also, I think a lot of people were thinking this was real. Scripps Ranch is going to be its own city. Again, it made so much sense for several reasons. First of all, locally, there's a move afoot. There's a lot of communities that would like to be their own cities. La Jolla, Rancho Santa Fe, those talks have been uh, around for a while. The way this was uh, put on the internet was that Ken Councilman Mark Kersey, because the city of San Diego has term limits, it said after he wins in his current district, he'll move from within his, he'll stay in his district, Rancho Bernardo, Scripps Ranch, and lead the charge. It made a lot of sense, and guess what? Got to admit it, had me fooled for the first five minutes. So could that be one that an April Fool's joke becomes reality at some point? I don't think so. No, not going to happen. All right, well, this is one that I, I know everyone's really talking about. Unfortunately, there was some poor timing with April Fool's. The Chargers Stadium, what's going on with that? Unfortunately, there's no April Fool's on this one. Uh, to, to use a line out of movie, I think it's looking dark for the Empire. I mean, the mayor's working hard. He's got his task force. They're going to come out next month with their final recommendations. Uh, but uh, I'm just a pessimist, and I think, is this going to be a fact of too little, too late? Or they are really on the way to L.A.? Do you think we could end up with a situation where we're building a new stadium and then the Chargers leave? I don't think so. Again, to, to, uh, it's a great question, and that is a bona fide fear. But I think there will be enough safeguards put in because uh, the, the, our, our people that are in charge of the task force and the mayor's office, they're smart enough to put those safeguards in that they wouldn't go that far down the road. So, no, I don't think that will happen. But really, the, ne the next major milestone here is next month. That's when we should keep our ears open for stadium news. They're looking at May 20th for the task force to announce its findings, but they may release it a little bit earlier than that. All right, very good. John Dady and political analyst. Thanks for being with us this morning, as always. Great Looking to see you. Looking good in your Easter green, John. Happy Easter to everybody. Thank you. Thanks for being here this morning.